Julian Razo asks, what is magnetism? How do magnets work? I know there's those things that stick to your fridge, but the force is all around us and protects us from solar bursts. I like that that's, at the end, it's a question. It's a question? Yeah. That's, uh, th- that's true. He's, he's in the band Insane Clown Posse. Never mind. Uh, it was a really, reference. I gotta really? say. No. But have they have say, a song about magnetism. It was really the oh. early stuff. Now they're just completely overproduced. But that said, yeah, magnetism is uh, generally thought of as a current, a flow of electrons, which have an electric field, which induces a magnetic field. Through a term coined by my personal hero, Michael Faraday, all one word, electromagnetism. Mm-hmm. Now, Mass, you're an engineer. Yeah. You took a lot of physics. I did. But I'm, I'm just amazed to hear it. This is Bill Nye, the science guy, explaining yeah. mag- uh, magnetism. Well, Very as best good. I can. So yes, we go with the physics. When we have a permanent magnet. Away. Well, when we have a permanent this magnet. Cool. We think of a virtual current. That is to say, it's as though there's a current flowing in the um, magnetic material. Yes. Iron, cobalt. Nickel, yeah. uh, uh, or some of these fabulous rare earths, mm-hmm. but uh, in the earth, which you was which uh, the questioner referred to, to which the questioner referred, in the earth we have uh, somehow a spinning giant mass of, by our standards, very large mass of molten iron, which carries a lot of electrons, which are in motion, which induce a current, which creates a magnetic field. Which is very important for our survival. It keeps our atmosphere in place. It would really? be a whole and other. Could, yeah, our atmosphere is kept here by magnets. Partially so, yes. If we did not have uh, our magnetic field, mm-hmm. we would. It, in fact, there's some theories, if you look at Mars, which does not have a magnetic field, that why did Earth survive? Mm-hmm. And as far as we know, at least on the surface, there's nothing so obvious that's living on Mars. If we could fill Mars. Mars's core with uh, a hot giant ball of iron that spun, would it spin naturally if it was there? Well, Just Mars by, is spinning at about the same so uh, if we revolution. Filled, if we could get it a magnetic it, field, it yeah. might have had a different destiny. Could it create? Would Earth. an atmosphere be created if a magnetic field was added to it? Or it no? might be able to be captured, possibly. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's generally believed that since Mars was too was is smaller than the Earth, it radiated more heat into space, cooled off, solidified, and any molten motion of metal inside uh, came to a standstill. And then the solar wind, little particles streaming off the sun stripped the Martian atmosphere away. And while we all sit here, Mm -hmm. just a couple weeks ago, I went to Cape Canaveral for the launch of the MAVEN mission. Cool. Mars Atmospheric Volatile Evolution Mm, spacecraft. It's a tortured acronym, but they're going to assess the... It's a cool uh, acronym. It is a cool acronym. MAVEN's pretty good. It's pretty good. They're going to assess the atmosphere, uh, learn more about the atmosphere of Mars and uh, what happened there, why Mars is different from the Earth, and that will, I guarantee you, questioner, that will tell us more about us and our, dare I say it, place in space. So th- so what I'm getting from this is, theoretically, we could create an atmosphere on another planet using a great deal of iron and a bunch of uh, various... And scuba tanks. Scuba tanks. Yes. Basically, <laughs> scuba tanks, a handful of whales... <laughs> uh, all right. But a magnetic field is very, very important. important. It's the, the it first step is a magnetic field. Then we do the thing from Search for Spock where we uh, bioengineer a planet. But okay, never You've mind. You've got a crazy plan there. That is crazy. Eugene, but it... I have the same plan I don't plan know what Kirk you're even had. talking about, but it sounds good. <laughs> it's not that crazy of you. I'm looking it. at Bill Nye, the science guy, just to, for, yeah. you know, for confirmation and on I, this, but it well, sounds good. All you right. know, when you start getting into the Star Trek movies, <laughs> yeah. there's going to be some inconsistencies. Terraforming a planet is just not that easy. But it's not. I'm not saying it's easy. No. I'm just saying here's a few ways we could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah, underestimate right. the magnetic field. That's, exactly. Yes, well said. Awesome. Liftoff.